Okay, so then feminist rhetoric, especially as informed through that theoretical framework that's in, articulated in our second required text and what we're going to spend the most time with, uh, feminist rhetorical practices, that's going to equip us with the kinds of things that we need to tackle wicked problems. These are important to those who are those who want that tackle wicked, wicked problems with what I just mentioned. They suggest that the only way to tackle these is through new approaches to conduct research, uh, to the conduct of the research and to decision making based on that research. These new approaches are what Roster and Kirsch provide, um, refusing to separate the intellectual, the emotional, and the ethical elements of the most rhetorical practices. That's really important, that, and that's part of why they begin with the, with the autobiography of sorts, the intellectual and emotional and professional autobiographies and why those are important. They insist that all of these things are complementary processes. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that objectivity is a myth. So since the dawn of the Enlightenment, objectivity has been touted as the gold standard for research and across the disciplines. Good, good research for the last couple hundred years, the argument goes, is research that is entirely free from bias, that's neutral, that's somehow outside the, uh, the reach of any element of human experience, unencumbered by the ways of being and thinking in the world that have emerged from those experiences. But the thing is, true object objectivity is an impossible standard for human beings because we all have bodies and memories and emotions and really memories of being in the world that we've learned both formally and informally in particular places at particular times, and most likely from other humans who are likewise encumbered by all the inevitable materiality that limits and shapes all aspects of life, even the precious, and I do agree it is indeed precious, life of the mind. 